So you have a Samsung Galaxy A34 smartphone and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the phone is on. Maybe you can feel it vibrate. Maybe you can hear notifications coming in. Maybe you can get phone calls. Or if you don't know, just grab a charging cable, plug it in and you should hear that chime, okay? Now take note that this one here, screen is fixed, but we're gonna pretend I have a black screen. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. All, and you can do all this right from your home, nothing to do with taking the phone apart or nothing, okay? So, and we're gonna pretend I have a black screen here. So first thing is, if you guys have a case on here, take the case off. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna force it to restart, okay? It's a two key combination. What you wanna do is press and hold the volume down and power. Press and hold at the same time, keep on holding until you see a Samsung logo appear, then let go of both buttons. Do it together. Let's pretend we have a black screen here. Volume down, power, ready? Go, press and hold. Keep on holding here until you see a Samsung logo appear. Volume down, power, still holding here. Still holding. Okay, that Samsung went on off really quick, so I'm still holding. Now the Samsung logo is there and it's gonna stay there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally, and hopefully you have a working screen. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Okay, so your screen is still black, no problem. We're gonna to go to the next step here, all right? So what I want you to do now is locate your power button and what I want you to do is hold it down on your desk like this, and I want you to press kind of hard. Only press it four times, okay? Don't press it five times or more consecutively because if you guys have your SOS emergency turned on or enabled, and then if it's enabled and you press the power button five times in a row, it's going to call emergency services wherever you're at. If you're in the USA, it'll call like 911, okay? So please don't do that. So we're only going to do it four times. Power button is here. Spam it four times kind of hard. One, two, three, four. That's it. Okay, and the reason why we're doing that is because your power button could be stuck. It could be jammed. You could have uh, like coffee or soda and it's all sticky in there and that can cause a black screen of death as well. After that, we're going to go ahead and grab our charging cable. We're going to plug it in. Wait five seconds. Now, same thing, volume down, power. Press and hold both buttons, continue to hold until you see the Samsung logo appear, then let go of both buttons while it is charging. We'll do it together, okay? Volume down, power, ready, set, go. Press and hold. Keep on holding, but my screen here is black. Continue to hold, volume down, power. Wait for that Samsung logo to appear, and it sticks, okay? Let me see if I, okay, see how it stopped? It turned off, so I'm still holding volume down power. Now it looks good. Now I will let go and wait for it to boot up normally, and hopefully you are now out of a black screen. If not, we're going to go to the next possible step. Okay, so you still have a black screen, no problem. Now from here, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unplug the phone first. And now what we're going to do is what I call the tap method. Okay, basically we're gonna hold the phone like this, we're gonna grab two fingers and we're gonna tap kind of hard all over on the screen and all over on the back. The whole premise behind this is you may have a, a cable ribbon that's slightly dislodged or disconnected and a little tap, believe it or not, can pop it right into place. Let's do it together. Pretend my screen here is black, let's hold the phone, let's grab two fingers and tap kind of hard, okay? Keep on going and if you guys are tapping like this and you hear a little click, if you hear a click, Tap on that power button and see if your screen is on, okay? If not, no problem. Kind of hard all over. On the sides, everything. Same thing on the back here, okay? And you, you want to tap all on here. And you also want to tap all around the lens here as well, okay? Get all around there, all around the lens. Turn the phone over. Tap that power button and see if your screen is on. If it's still black, no problem. From here, again, you're gonna force restart it with the two key combination. Remember, volume down, power. Press and hold both buttons. Don't let go until you see the Samsung logo appear. Once it appears, let go of both buttons, okay? And now hopefully you guys are up and running with a working screen. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible option. 
Okay, so your screen is still black, no problem. Next step I have for you is what I call the massage method. Same premise behind the tapping. You may have a cable that's slightly dislodged and a little tap or a little nice massage press can pop it into place. We'll start off on the screen here. We, you, you can go ahead uh, with the screen with your thumbs like this, but if you don't want to smudge it up, then just use a cloth or something. So I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to press the screen. Press, give it like a nice massage all the way. And if you guys hear a click, same thing again. Tap that power button and see if your screen is on. If not, no problem, press. All, all in the corners here too. Gotta get the corners, press, press, press. Same thing on the back here, okay? You wanna press. Give it a nice massage all over, okay? You even wanna get all around the lens here. If you don't wanna smudge up your lens, just cover it up with something and press. Pre and especially if you guys hear a little click around here somewhere, tap that power button and see if your uh, screen is on, okay? Sometimes the screen won't go on, but sometimes you get like maybe a half a screen or you might get like white lines. But if you have any of those, I mean, just keep going, okay? So we're gonna keep pressing. Nice massage. Now turn the phone over, tap that power button and see if your screen is working. If not, no problem. Force restarted again. Remember the volume down power button here, right? You gotta press and hold. Do that and hopefully you guys now have a working screen. If not, you guys still have a black screen, then the last option I have for you is what I call the freezer method. Get your phone, make sure there's no case on here, it's nice and naked, go to your freezer, okay? Put it into your freezer where it's nice and cold, leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, go to your freezer, grab your nice cold frosty phone, and then tap on that power button and see if your screen is on. If your screen is still black, no problem, again, do the two key combination, volume down, power. And then hopefully your screen is up and running. Now the thing is, if you guys did all of these steps and you're still down, you still have a black screen, then what I would advise is try every single step a second time. Doesn't work two times, try it three times. Try it at least, up, try it at least seven times. A lot of times, I mean, the seventh time is a charm, okay? If this worked for you, please give a thumbs up and comment which step or which combination of step or which, te which step you think worked for you so that others can see as well, okay? Good luck, guys.